Praise God, praise God, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you I would be up on here doing Bible study. And if you see my title, I'm um, going to make sure that you guys get up on here. Praise God, praise God. All right, I'm going to actually wait for you guys to get up on here. Um, basically, the title is Demonic Activity Increasing. I first want to start off just praying let's just pray and i want want y'all to know let me tell y'all something always i don't care what y'all doing before you get on internet these days i pray that y'all are anointing yourself this is not a gimmick this is not a game this is real even anoint your computers i'm not playing i'm not playing you know go over your computer in the name of jesus nothing can enter in nothing can go out but the anointing of god because you don't want to take anybody either come on somebody hallelujah and a lot of you say well it don't take all that yes it does as a matter of fact, it takes more than that, truth be told. All right, so let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we just come to you, Father God, boldly before you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, decree and declaring, God, that you are God all by yourself, Father God. Just thanking you, God, because you are the great Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for you, God? No. Oh, Father God, I just thank you for what you're going to do. Our oh, Father God, in us and through us, Father God, I thank you for what you're going to do on tonight. I thank you for what you're going to do in 2021. Oh, Father God, you've already seen it. You've already wrote it. You already know, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everybody that's in the sound of my voice, God, I pray that you bless them, not just with prosperity, Father God, but with the anointing of God the power of God, the fire of God, hallelujah, the obedience of God in the name of Jesus, oh hallelujah to his name, I pray healing, I pray blessings Father God in their minds, their spirits, their body, oh I know every thing and plot and plan of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I sever it to the root of that thing, everything that the enemy has tried to do, God said I'm going to turn it around, God said I'm going to turn it around, God said I'm going to turn it around in the name of Jesus, Romans 8 28, he said all things work together for those that love the Lord, I, I know you don't like it, I, I know it don't feel good, I know they talked about you, I know they left you, I know this, 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 he said but I'm still in control, hallelujah, and God, we just thank you, God, we give you honor, and we give you praise, and we say in his precious, majestic name, amen, 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 in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, I decree and declare it to be so, this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, amen, 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 let me tell y'all something, I have so much to tell y'all, um, God, God has been come out of second timothy we're going to start with second timothy and i think y'all know why i'm just going to tell y'all god is god has been having me in second timothy for almost four or five months and i think y'all know why because he says but in these last days men should be lovers of themselves come on somebody hallelujah so let me go ahead and tell you what thus said the lord before we begin i was praying god said deanna tell them I don't know if y'all know this, but you know, back in the day when things would happen, it would look like payback would take a long time, right? Oh, but payback is not taking a long time. God said, be mindful of what you do. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful how you operate, God says. He says, and then, and guess what? Don't be worrying about the enemy. The enemy is going to do what they're supposed to do. That's what they're supposed to do. When I caught that clue, when I caught that clue, I'm a problem to them now. Because guess what? The what used to get to me, don't get to me no more. What used to upset me, don't upset me no more. Because guess what? I understood one thing, that the scripture is real. He said, I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemies. So I ain't got to do nothing to you, honey. I ain't got to lie. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do this. Oh, y'all understand? Because when you upset with somebody, you do some things. Don't like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Payback is something else. But God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So you ain't got to be doing all that extra stuff you be doing with somebody to do something. All you got to do is stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Oh, he going to do it for you. And, and let me tell you something. He said, pray for those that despitefully use you. Pray for those that do this and do that. When I cut that thing and understand what I'm saying, I always, I always read that word. I always taught that word. But when I cut that thing for real. I said, wait a minute. It is in that that you will find peace. He said, I'll make your enemy, I'll make your enemies be at peace with you. Now understand, they'll still be an enemy and they'll still do what they do, but you'll have so much peace about it. They'll be doing all that old crazy stuff and you'll still be humming. Because you know sooner or later, God gonna stop them. You know sooner or later they're gonna have to pay the papa. You know sooner or later, God gonna shut them down. You know sooner or later. Come on, somebody, the word of God is your is your weapon. 
Praise is your weapon, but the word of God is truly your weapon. Oh, come on, somebody, because I, without the word of God, you can't sing praises. Without the word of God, you cannot do anything. It's, that's why you got to watch what you speak. You got to watch what you say. That's, let me tell y'all something what I've been doing lately. I've been really watching what I say, especially because I have the apostolic anointing. I have to watch what I say because I heard God say, because you are a prophet, I'll do that thing. But if I didn't ordain you to say it, I'm a backlash. I'm going to have to do it. Because, oh, I'm about to teach up in here. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I feel it. I feel it. Let me tell you something. Because y'all must have forgot. Because we got these new age prophets. Everybody on here just prophet lying and, and just really putting on a show. When a true prophet talk, that thing must manifest. Oh, come on, somebody. I could take you to the Old Testament, back to the New. Come on, somebody. Anytime a true prophet speak, that thing must manifest. Oh, y'all don't hear me? I've said some things and they happen. And I have to be honest with you because we're being transparent. I was scared for a moment. I said, God, did I do that? He said, no, that, that was my judgment. He said, but be careful. Make sure that that is my judgment. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Prophets decree and declare judgment. They always have, and they always will. That's why people don't like prophets. Pastors don't like true prophets. No, they don't. They like the fake ones because the fake ones speak the good things to us, speak what we love, speak what we need to hear. But a true prophet going to speak what does say the Lord, and they don't care who don't like them. Oh, come on, somebody. That was my first thing, and I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel you. There's a lot of prophets on here. A lot of prophets always did follow me. Prophet, let me tell you something. Prophets are stupid to a prophet. <laughs> so if, if a lot of prophets follow, pro that's that's how we roll because everybody else don't want to roll with us. They don't like us. Oh, oh, come on, somebody. Am I too real for you? But anywho, let me continue. Prophets are subject to prophets. So you have to understand prophets, the young prophets that are on here are the ones that are grooming. The first thing I had to do is I had to get rid of the people syndrome. What the people going to think? What the people going to say? What the people going to do? God say, Deanna. I'm your God. Forget the people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, that's what happened to King Saul. King Saul listened to the people, and that's why he the kingdom was ripped from him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to be careful. You are gods. You are gods alone. Prophets roll for God. It was not the, and hold on. We love the people. Don't get it twisted. But we speak what thus said the Lord. Guess what? Edifying the people, but also correcting. You see, the church just wants you to edify. They don't want nobody correcting nobody. Come on, somebody. I love you. But what they don't understand, a true prophet, God will correct you first. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say it again. God will correct you first. Hallelujah. So God told me to tell you, be careful. Because guess what? That stuff is coming around quicker. And I saw it. I saw it. You guys, let me tell you something. There were a couple of people really doing so. They always, they always doing stuff to me. I'm not lying. I have so many enemies. And the crazy part is, it's crazy because I don't bother nobody, but I understand it's spiritual. I just said something. Y'all be trying to handle stuff in the flesh. It's spiritual. It's not that they don't even know me. It, it's a spiritual thing. So what I've learned to do is I got to get that thing completely to God. But let me tell you what I've seen. In the last month, I've seen that thing come around and get a couple of them. And I was like, I felt sorry. I really did. I was like, oh my God, this is real. He said, yes, it is. He said, I'm not playing. You better tell him I'm not playing. In this hour, thank you, Lord, I hear you. Judgment is in the house of God. I'm going to say that again. Judgment is in the house of God. I need to say it one more time. Judgment is in the house of God in this hour. So y'all better stop playing because I've seen a lot of you playing. So let me walk this thing too. The second thing God told me to tell y'all, that was the thing um, God had pulled me from being Chef Didi. Now I still love to cook and you'll see me throw my spices on there and, but, but I'm not getting back into that all the way because this is what he explained it to me. He said, Deanna, when Jesus Christ, my son, when he stopped being a carpenter, what did he do? He laid it all down and he served me because guess what? He has to focus on me. He had to focus on his assignment. He had to go to the cross. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Oh, I got to walk this thing out. It is going to be a unique Bible study tonight because y'all seen where it's, it, 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 it is. It's right here. So let me tell you what God said. God said, well, people don't understand when they brought in the prosperity gospel. Let me tell you what they did. They brought in a, a spirit of business. And so everybody is so much on a business tip and I was on it too. So I get that. I get that. I really thought it was of God. God wants me to do this. God wants me to do that. And I had to repent. I, when God showed me, he said, the enemy took you on a ride. And what he was trying to do, it was taint you. So you could not be effective. I just said that thing. Jesus Christ put down being a carpenter. Oh, let me walk this thing out for you. When you hear the calling, 
When you truly hear the calling and you know it's God because you can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't creep. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. You can't do nothing you used to do because the power of God will grab you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, 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 let's get back to it. So, when the power of God grab you, that's when you're supposed to say, here I am, Lord. I'm your servant. Here I am. And everything else has to go to the back burner. But the prosperity message then came in the church and, and got everybody with the spirit of attention, the spirit of wanting money, the spirit of greed. Oh, come on, somebody. The spirit of lust because... One spirit do not work together. They all work together. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking about demonic activity increasing. So what happened is now you got everybody trying to brand themselves. Notice how the enemy played us. And you could say what you want. I know what God just said to me. Hallelujah. And he confirmed it over and over again. I said, my God, my God. I repented. I said, God. Okay, I get it. I, I'm, I'm supposed to do this. That is just a gift. But this is my calling. Your gift and your calling is about to collide, said God. He said, which one you going to choose? He said, because the enemy is trying to fool y'all. The enemy don't want you to understand your calling. Because guess what? When you are called, you have to understand that you are chosen. And when you are chosen, there's a people waiting for you. There's a people that need that word inside your, come on somebody, your belly. The anointing of God. And the enemy is trying to flip you up. Oh, he's trying to flip the script. Because he knows if you don't, if you don't, and embrace that thing to the full magnitude that God can't use you to the full magnitude. That's why the church ain't got no power. Now you understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So now everybody trying to get branded. Everybody trying to live a legacy and all this stuff. And, and it's pulling from what God have really put inside of you. It's pulling. And I, I know what I'm talking about. Y'all, I was so tired. I love being Chef Didi, but I ain't gonna lie. I was tired. My, my feet was hurt. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie. I was hurting. Hurting to be, to be, to be, to be, to be. You heard what I just said. And to God pulled my coattail with this last endeavor. He pulled this so hard. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. I didn't even tell y'all. It's time for me to tell y'all. So I was in the building. And I tried to go around the corner to put my knives down and everything. And to be honest with you guys, I couldn't move. God stopped my step. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I got scared. I said, I said, wait a minute. I can't walk. I said, that's you. That's you. I got scared. I can't lie to you. I got scared because that had never happened to me in my life. I could not go forward. So I turned myself around. I went out that door. I said, this ain't God. I said, this ain't God. Thank you for stopping me. I, yeah, I felt like a little fool because you, you know, you, you know, but I said, thank you, Lord. He said, nah, what I need you to do. You got to forget about this. There's a people that I need you to preach and teach to. Let me tell you how important this is. And that's why he got me on this thing tonight. This is the last hour. The enemy is pulling all stops. I know y'all saying he ain't got no new tricks. Yes, he do. Because this is his last stop, baby. He's going to that pit. And this is what he's thinking. I'm going to take you, 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 anybody. And I'm doing it by any means necessary. And this is what he's doing. Why y'all think those rappers, all of a sudden, I'm about to go here. I, don't, I feel the power of God. Y'all, y'all got to excuse me. I got to go with the flow. I didn't know I was going to do all this, but I got to do it. Why do you think all of a sudden those kids, because he gave you money now, ain't nobody B-R-O-K-E, I don't like to say the word, no more. And now we got the bigger problems because guess what? The enemy gave you something that you couldn't handle. You have to pray to handle money. You have to pray for wisdom and discernment because money, oh, money gives you a spirit of greed. Don't tell me what I don't know. I was there. Hallelujah. Go, it'll give you a spirit of lust. It, it, it'll make you kill. It'll make you steal. It'll make you do all kinds of things because you are not anointed to have it. You didn't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. The enemy is giving money to fools. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. If this is a powerful word, I'm so sorry for it because guess what? I got to do what God told me to do. So, so let, let me continue. So he's giving money to fools. And what the Bible says, a fool and his money should soon part. Uh, but, but he doesn't mean it just like that. That's why a lot of people are dying in their foolishness because they're not listening to God. They have no God. So if you don't have God over your money, telling you what to do, how to sow, who to sow to, you would just do anything and think that is God and everything good in God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue what's happening. So the enemy that came in the church, got everybody trying to brand themselves, everybody trying to do this. I mean, you know, it's okay to look nice, but some of y'all look straight like models. I, I, I. I don't know if y'all can get gully if you had to. If it, and we in a spiritual war for real, but you too cute. Someone, and I don't know how you're going to fight with your long nails. Oh, come on, somebody. Because you're you going to have to lay hands on people and pray. I hope you don't stick nobody with them long nails. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. So then I got everybody looking worldly. 
acting worldly, talking worldly, moving worldly, because he knows if you really get into your calling, you're going to free some people. And that's what needs to happen in this last hour. So let me tell you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he put down carpentry work and he embraced being the son of God. And that's why I mean you here today. Come on, somebody. Good thing he didn't say, I want to be a carpenter. Good thing he didn't say, you know, father, let me brand myself. Good he didn't say let, let, let me use, let me get all kind of businesses oh come on somebody he focused on one thing and i heard him he says we're supposed to do the will of the father that's what we're supposed to do nothing else everything else is just perks and works and gifts but he said I, 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 what you gonna do when when i really come for you and i've asked you why you didn't do your calling i asked you why you didn't go and hear and talk about this and evangelize and do full-blown ministry hallelujah because you got to be anointed. And, and the third thing he told me to tell y'all tonight, he said, obedience. Oh, let me talk to you about obedience. Oh, I got whipped so many times. That's why I could talk to y'all with so much power. Don't think I just came over it. I was, oh, when I first started, I was so disobedient. I would go to the altar every week, every week. And I never forget. I was at Calvary Christian Center. I don't mind telling y'all. And uh, it was minister. What was minister? I see his, I see his face. I see his face. I can't think of his name. My God, my God, I remember his name. I remember his face though. But anyway, I went to him and he just told me the truth. And I was so embarrassed. But good thing nobody didn't hear you. He 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 got in my ear and he said, Um, oh, all you gotta do is start being obedient and quit tripping. I looked at him like, I know he didn't just say that to me. Yes, he did. Every week you down here. We know what you're doing. <laughs> and I was I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it. I ain't going to lie when I first started. I'm not going to, I'm being honest. And I tell you, God got tired of that too. And I don't know who it is for, but y'all need to hear it. Some of y'all playing and playing and playing, but when you called, you called. And I'm, and I got to tell you this last point. I'm going to start in Timothy. Let me tell y'all something. I kept playing. Oh, God said, tell it all. Oh, you see, I'd have never did all this, man. I'd have never did it if you gonna make me tell it. Anywho, I was fornicating. and I was drinking. Oh, God, I was doing all kind of stuff. All right. But I was still love God like some of you. And, and let me let me tell y'all something. Because some of y'all put down people like that. You see how God using me? So don't be putting down people just because they you see them in their state. Because I know one thing. God will call you out your state. And I remember when it happened. I was doing what I was doing. And one day in Sacramento, California. And on Freedom Park Drive, where I was staying, I couldn't sleep one night. And I guess God said, I'm tired of this little girl. I couldn't sleep two nights, then three nights. I don't know. God just kept start keeping me up, up, up. Until one night I hollered. I said, what do you want? I did it just like that, probably screaming. And God said, you, and stop playing with me. And I never forget, I broke down crying. I said, well, show me how to do it. Because you know, all I know is what I do. I, I love you, just like some of you. You love God. I, a lot of people love God, but it, 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 it takes it takes something to be obedient to God. Cause that flesh, that flesh is a mess. Oh, come on, somebody! I'm preaching up in here. And I asked them. I said, "Show me." And I never forget. I went to this church. I went to that church. And somebody lay hands on. Somebody lay hands on me. That's when I caught it. Everything you need is right inside of you. All you got to do is just get real about it. Y'all be running all over the world. I did it too. I mean, I ran here, there. If I could just get this one to touch me, uh, T.D. Jakes or, or or Bishop um Noah Jones, and I did, I did. Bishop Clarence McClinton. I mean, I was with the powerhouses, and still filthy and doing my dirt. Until God said, "How long you gonna play?" And I say, "Show me." And then I kept playing. He was showing. He was helping me, but I kept playing, and that's when he exposed me. One night I was driving. Caught a DUI in the newspaper. Can't hide no more. I was like, did you really have to do that? He said, yes, because I told you to stop playing with me. I was so embarrassed. I was like, why everybody else could do it, but I can't do it. I sure did say that, unless I some of you feel. You have to learn to be obedient to God. And how do you do that? Pray. Father God, I ask you, Father God, teach me how to be obedient. Teach me, God. Teach me, God. And, and and if you're going to expose me, oh, you don't hear what I just said. If you're going to expose me, make sure my heart can take it because your heart got to be able to take that. Because real exposure will kill some people just with embarrassment. Don't play with me up in here. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's the truth. So anywho, let me tell you how important obedience is. When God told Abraham, he said, get, get away from your family. Go. 
I'm going to make your name great. He was disobedient because he took a lot. Look what happened. When you're disobedient, not just you, everybody gets it. Because here's what happened. When Lot went to Sodom, what happened? Sodom got in him. Lot, Lot almost lost his mind. Lot got tainted. Lot started drinking, doing all kinds of stuff he wasn't doing when he was with Abraham. So when you are disobedient, the enemy has a right. Oh, come on, somebody. I just said it. When you step out of the circle of God with his angels encamping around you, you give the devil permission to test you, to try you, to do all kind of things to you. And that is what's happening to the body of Christ. That's why we get hit so much. You can call people scary. Y'all can mock. Y'all can laugh. I don't go where God don't tell me to go. I don't do what God don't. I'm not doing it. I'm not. And my flesh might say, hey, I, and as a matter of fact, of 2021, I ain't even been friends with, mm -mm. If you know, because when you love God, you really love people. I ain't doing that no more. I've been, I've been loving people that don't, just don't. Y'all y'all get the drift. I ain't got to go there. I ain't got to be ugly. So I'm telling you those three things God said. Please replay this video if you need to hear them again. Number one. Things coming around quick. You better be mindful of what you're doing. You're going to get exposed. Number two, it's not just about your business. It's about your calling. Your gift and your calling is about to collide. I pray that you choose your calling. Because in the last hour, God needs real people. God don't need you here. And, and ooh, God just told me something too. Y'all women of God, y'all not going to like this. I know you get lonely. You get lonely. I know, I know, I know. Stop showing your breasts trying to get a man on Facebook or, or, or social media. Because you're attracting the wrong type of men. And and women and men, y'all both doing it. Doing all kind of stuff. Men, you're showing your money. You show, ain't nobody want that. Not no true man or woman of God don't want that. They don't want that. I'm telling you now, they don't want that. God say, trust him, and he's going to bless you. He said, but first, love you. So when you love yourself, you work on you. And yeah, it's okay to get lonely. It's okay to want a husband. It's okay to want a wife. But God said, work on you and fall in love with him first. That's what he said, fall in love with me first. And I've been there too, so don't tell me. Now, I never used to show my body, but I, I, I you know, but then you live and you learn. So my young brothers and sisters, and even older ones, stop acting desperate. Pray over yourself and ask God, God, give me a spirit of patience of waiting. Waiting on you for the right one. Because I just told you what disobedience do. Disobedience introduce you to stuff you don't want in your life. And God has to let that thing play out. Because guess what? You picked that, not God. And then got the nerve to get mad at God. As a matter of fact, we've been reading the news lately and stuff like that. Husband killing wives, vice versa. You want to know why? You never prayed and asked God if that was the one. Most of you, and I'm going here, and I ain't seen it my whole life, so don't tell me what I'm talking, don't talk about. Most of y'all choose people because the family like them. Most of y'all choose people because the pastor, and y'all pastors better stop that. Stop putting people together. That is not your, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just preach and teach. You are not Cupid, okay? No, stop. God is going to tell you who's your husband and wife or wife. And then with the preacher or teacher or elder or apostle or whatever, confirmation. But then hold on, someone be lying because they don't want to see you blessed. So you're going to have to get a relationship with God. Thank you, Lord. And as a fourth thing God said, learn to hear, to know his voice. You got to learn God's voice, y'all. Quit waiting on an apostle, a prophet, this one, that one. Especially in these last days, you got to learn God's voice. You're going to need it. I'm telling you, you're going to need it in this hour like never before. You understand what I'm saying? This is some real stuff. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo, so praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's get into Timothy. Um, Y'all know why God chose Timothy. I ain't even going to. Y'all know why Timothy tells the, the truth. Timothy is the truth. You know, um, so let's start. This is the second Timothy. I had it over here. This light. Hold on. Uh, bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh, the whole thing came up. That's fine. I got, I got two, three lights up in here. 
Okay. All right, y'all. Just one moment. Praise God. Praise God. And I just pray that y'all understand. You know, it's not to bash people, but y'all got to understand. And I'm, I'm supposed to read something to y'all. March, Mark 6, King James Version. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got to do this, especially since my life fell. All right. So Mark 6, it says, And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. Talking about Jesus. Verse 2. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him was astonished. Don't you understand? When you start really preaching the word of God, it's not you. It's not me. I'm not that great. It's the power and the spirit of God inside of me. He said, and many hearing him was astonished, saying, From whence had this man these things? And what wisdom is that which given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? God will bless you. Let me tell you something. Y'all acting like God is not a God of miracle signs and wonders. I see him. I see him coming. I see him coming. I'm talking about the real ones, not the fake ones. Verse 3. Is not this the carpenter, the, the son of Mary? You know, and I'm about to go here. I don't know why, but I'm about to say what God say it seems like most people started respecting me and my calling more so when i was chef dd y'all like y'all you know everybody that follow me don't like you didn't see it oh she got a little money now she, she, we can listen to her now i was anointed before i was chef dd i always did like to cook like to eat too if you want to know but anywho you understand how people will remember? Notice what they say at first. They didn't say preacher, teacher, Jesus Christ. And that's what they say. It's not this the carpenter. People will always try to put your skill before who you are. Oh, let me continue. The son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simon are not his sisters here with us. And they were offended at him. People would get offended because God used you. Talk to me about it. I never could. And I'm going here. Especially, I never understood what that scripture was about. I do. A prophet is not without honor in their own hometown. <laughs> when I was in Louisiana, especially this last time, I saw it. Some people I like to hate, and I, I barely know because, you know, new, a lot of new people. I don't even know them. The girls want to fight me. All kind of stuff. And I was like, what is this? God said, you know what it is. And I had to pray. I had to pray because I almost came out of character a couple of times. I had to pray. Oh, no, like y'all don't know my background. I'm not the one. But when you come to God, you can't act like you used to. You can't talk like you used to. You can't walk like you used to. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to get that thing to God. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse four. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and his own house. Oh my God. Is that not the truth? Those that know me, y'all know my family don't fool with me. They don't like me no more. They like me when I was the drug addict. They like me when I was the alcoholic. They like me when I was the prostitute. Oh, y'all didn't know that, huh? Ooh. Can't stand me now. And I'm a true woman of God. Uh, let me continue. Verse five. And he could do there no mighty work, save there that he laid hands, his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. Verse 6, and he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went around about the villages teaching. Verse 7, and he called unto the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits. I want to talk about that part. How can you truly preach and teach if you don't have power of the Holy Ghost? Because you're going to come against, you're going to come against, and you're going to come upon some demons. I promise you, you will. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's just the truth before God. Verse 8. And commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no braid, no money in their purse. 9. But be shod with sandals and not put on two coats. 10. And he said unto them, In what place soever you enter into a house, there abide till you depart from that place. Praise God. Verse 11. And soever should not receive you nor hear you, when you depart, then shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it should be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Verse 12. And they went out and preached that men should repent. That's what we're supposed to be doing right now. Preaching. People repent for God is coming. And it, it's, it's soon. It's soon. Y'all don't see you in the last days? Murder, lawlessness. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's continue. 13. And they cast out many devils, anointed with all many that were sick and healed them. Y'all don't understand. This oral 
is, is a conduit, especially if the person is anointed. This oil is real. I didn't know how powerful anointing oil was until I, I, I was in Sacramento. I saw some things get broken. I saw some demons come out of people. I mean, yeah, I, I do ministry for real. We were laying hands and they were just throwing up, throwing up. And that's what people are scared of. You're too cute to get dirty. Real ministry, you're going to get a little dirty, God says. Come on, somebody, let me continue. Verse 14, and King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread aboard. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works to do show forth themselves in him. Number 15, and others said that is Elias, and others said that it, that it was a prophet, as one of the prophets, y'all know who says that. Verse 16, but when Herod heard of, he said, it's John, whom I behated. He is risen from the dead. Uh, for 17. For Herod himself has sent and laid hold upon John and bound him in prison for Herod's sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. 18. For John had said unto Herod, it's not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Some of y'all won't open your mouth. John the Baptist died for opening his mouth. And some of y'all won't even open your mouth. I'm telling you what God said. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we're going to end it right there. Y'all get the drift. You got to you really embrace your calling in this hour. Is it going to be easy? No, I promise you. Y'all y'all see how they be trying to shut me down? <laughs> Just from telling the truth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All right, so let's get into 2 Timothy. Praise God, praise God. I'm going to have to do it this way. All right, 2 Timothy. And I think y'all know why, 2 Timothy. Praise God, praise God. All right. And for time's sake, Second Timothy 4, King James Version. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who should judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Verse 2, preach the word. That's all we're supposed to be doing in this season. Preachers, teachers, apostles. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Everything else is, is supposed to be a sidebar. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't supposed to be about money, honey, and funny. Be instant, in season, and out of season. That means when it's not convenient for you. Because some of you just want to preach and teach when it's convenient. There are times when, when you're going to have to just preach and teach it and God say, go. God say, do this. God say, do this. It, it'll be at the drop of a dime. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And you got to do it. All right, praise God. He says, reprove. So we're supposed to reprove stuff. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Verse 3. For the time will come. Now, this is why God said this tonight. For the time will come when they would not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they should heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Y'all not going to like what I'm getting ready to say, and that's fine with me. I remember when I first started off, um, like I said, I was with a lot of well-known names. And I remember God saying, Deanna, you're not going with it. You're not going in the way that they went. And I really didn't understand what God was saying because I was 27, 28 when I first started. And I'm telling you, I understand now. Most people want the limelight. Most people want this. Let me use myself for example. There was a Caucasian man in Sacramento. And I'm not kidding. I'm very serious. He handed me the keys to a full-blown church. I wasn't ready. But I realized it wasn't that I wasn't ready, just not ready. That's not what God called me to do. He still called me to preach. I'm still an apostle. I'm still a prophet. Apostolic anointing. That's what that is. Point blank in the story. A servant of God. But this is what I'm supposed to do. So I was trying to do it a couple of times. It didn't pan out. So your ministry may not be full blown. Don't get caught up in that. Don't get caught up. Y'all going to get mad. Y'all be having five little people talking about y'all international. Stop that. Just be who God have called you to be. If it's an usher. If it's somebody that has a blog, a podcast. As long as you're doing what God called you to do. You do it to the best of your ability. You got to worry about nobody else. Because let me tell y'all what really didn't happen. These famous ones, and, and y'all going to get mad. And the first thing y'all like to do is, oh, they're jealous of what? Yeah, they got materialistic wealth. We all know that. But let's talk for real. When the last time you saw them lay hands on somebody? They can't. Don't play with me. They can't. They don't have it. And they don't want to be shamed. They don't have it. All they got is this. 
But a true man, man or woman of God is going to say, come here. Ha, hallelujah. Nobody playing. Especially if they have a demon. Because that's what we have right now. Demonic activity is increasing. And guess what? You don't have the people to cast out demons. And so what's happened? Demons getting passed around in the church. Passed around on Facebook. Passed around on YouTube. Just, just passed around. That's why I say all your computer and all your stuff before you get up on here. Because you're thinking, oh, nothing can... Honey, it's a spirit. And let me tell you something, what I'm learning. I'm 52 and I never thought I'd learn like this. The spirit is more real than the flesh and the natural. Oh, honey, I've seen some things. I've seen some things. I've seen some things. And I know it's God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Verse four. And they should turn away their ears from the truth. Is that not happening? They're banning people now. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. And they should be turned into fables. So now they're twisting and turning it. I don't know if y'all know this. I don't celebrate Christmas, but for the ones that are, and I don't bash nobody. Have y'all noticed they've taken out the manger? They've taken out Jesus Christ of Christmas? Y'all don't notice that, huh? Completely out of Christmas. Now, let's be real. Let's talk real biblical application. No one knows the day Jesus Christ was born. Not scholars, not anybody. So it is not 25th of Christmas. Sorry. You understand what I'm saying? And hold on. Y'all ain't going to believe what God told me. He just reminded me. So I was looking at, uh, I was going to my daughter's house. I was looking at the decorations. You can't help but see me, especially if they doing all that, right? And God say, God told me, say, it's almost like they're mocking me. I said, God, why would you say that? He said, my son died on a tree and yet they're going to put up a tree. Ooh, I'm going to say that again. He said, my son died on a tree and they putting up trees. And I'm not trying to make nobody feel bad. I'm just telling you what God said. How you think I feel? I was like, whoa, that's deep. I, ain't, I mean, something small, simple. Isn't it the truth, though? And not trying to bash nobody, make nobody feel bad. Because guess what? Everybody's still processing. You know what processing is? You're a part, part of this earth. We've become, let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. When you've become of the earth system, you're so used to doing something. So I don't bash people because you're used to doing it. So that's why now is a good time to ask God, God, take me out of this system, this beast system. And let me see you. Let me hear you like never before. Let me know you like never before. Let me learn of you like never before. That's where we at. That's where we at. And I was in the system too. Y'all, I used to wear those wigs. I'm, I don't know why I didn't take no pictures, y'all. Maybe because God knew. I used to wear these wigs when I was in LA. Nobody can tell me I went Diana Ross. These were some big wigs too. And I thought it was my hair. And I'm not, I'm not clowning people that have hair, but I'm, I'm going somewhere. They have made us put on so much stuff. That we have lost our identity. Oh, uh, y'all ain't ready for me for real. And again, I'm not bashing nobody. I'm not trying to make no, because I was there. As a matter of fact, somebody said something the other day. Oh, Apostle, I, I see you wearing a little, um, I sure I'm not going to go to hell for some lipstick. Okay. And maybe a little eyeliner. Back up off of me. I ain't no softy. You should have saw when I used to really wear the makeup. Should I put the pictures up? Trust me, I've been delivered. But my thing is this. Everybody's still processing. So it's okay to process, but you got to ask God to help you because it's a process. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I really thought that was my hair. I went to sleep with that thing. People really thought it was my hair too. <laughs> you know, and it was so crazy because when I put that thing on, I transformed. Oh, everything's a spirit. That's what I'm really trying to tell y'all. My beautiful black sisters, I pray that you really realize what I'm saying. Not trying to bash you because I said I did it too. But God is calling us away. I never forget. This is how I took off that wig. One day I was in the mirror and I just thought I was cute with that wig. I was. It was cute on me. And I never forget what God said. God said, why would you put that dead thing on top of your anointing? I never forget what God said. And I was like, why you say that? I was mad because he said, tell you the truth. He said, why would you put a dead thing on a living and the anointing? That's how he really said it. He called me a living being and he said the anointing, which is on. This is where the anointing is carried and in your belly. You see, why would you put something on your head to block your anointing? And uh, let me put it correctly how you said it, a curse thing. Y'all know how they pray over that hair? And y'all wonder why people are acting crazy? <laughs> I don't know why I went there. It must be for a few, y'all. Okay, let's get back. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I got to, but y'all know, know how I flow, right? 
I flow with the Holy Spirit. I try to stick to the subject because a couple people say, well, is there a subject? They ain't got no subject with Apostle Deanna Dixon. Are you crazy? I'm going to say what God said to say. I'm not going to stick to just one subject. Y'all be, y'all so, um, I don't know. That's an intelligent spirit. Let's just call it what it is. And I'm not mad at you. You educated. I get it. But, honey, when you come up on here, you liable to get anything. That's God. Let me let me clarify that. That's God. Because I'm going to say what God said to say. I ain't getting in trouble for you. Okay, let me continue. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, but watch thou in all things. Right now, please be watchful. They they sending people. I ain't going to say it. No, if something happened today, I ain't going to say it. Somebody came at me. And I was like, it didn't even make no sense. So you just coming at me for no reason. And I start to really get irate and God said, no, just hit the button. And that's just what I did. Delete. Got time for that. Y'all, we in a spiritual war. You don't have time for, thank you, Lord, for people to just, let me tell you something. The enemy is sending distractions, distractions. Bleep, bleep, bleep. You got you got to be like, like Neo. Come on, somebody in the matrix. Straight, straight, straight forward. Tunnel vision. You ain't got time for foolishness. Not in this hour. Don't you let no one cause you to go to hell. You don't hear. You don't hear what I'm saying. Let me continue. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, endure afflictions. It's gonna be hard sometimes. I cannot tell y'all. Yes, I'm strong in the Lord. Very strong. But I cry. I go through too. Just because you don't see it. And you know how I fight in prayer. Now I used to. I used to get up on here. And y'all. Y'all would know too. I would cut a fool. And God said, Daniel, you can't do that. Not if I'm your Lord. Not if I'm the head of your life. And that's when I said, you know what? I repent. Teach me how to handle people. And I'm going to be honest with you. When you get that, most of you are going to get your heavy anointing. Stop letting people, because that's what they do. And when they know they could touch you and move you, stop reacting to everything. Because that's what's happening with our young people. That's why they're shooting each other. You know why they shouldn't each other? They can't stand to be disrespected because they're emotional. Because guess what? They have no strong foundation to just ignore it. Hallelujah. And that comes from the from the, this generation. Yeah. So all that stuff came from the older generation. I'm a cuss them out. I'm a, some of you still cussing and you're so-called Christian. You're not a Christian. You're a cussing. Oh, they made up a word. Y'all know from Louisiana, right? We make up words. Praise God. Let me continue. Do the work of the evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Oh, oh, that's it right there. That's what I was saying earlier. Make full proof of thy ministry. How you going to minister and you not anointed? Oh, I'm about to go here. This is what God told me before I got up on here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. Y'all notice I don't get up on here every day now, right? Let me tell y'all why. And maybe, maybe, y'all going to, maybe, maybe it hit your spirit. How can a person truly effectively bring you the word of God, the power of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God through the voice of God if they're not spending time with God? How is it that these people up on here every day talking about God, 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 but ain't spending no time with God? Let me go ahead and give you scripture because from now on, I'm not going to just say anything. I'm going to give you scripture to back it up. Remember when Jesus went to the mountain and prayed and he was the son of God? Various times. He was getting full of the Holy Ghost. So he could do what he had to do. How much more are we? So when I caught that thing. I said God whatever you want. I ain't got to be up on here every day. Looking for this or that. Or trying to be this or that. I do it just how you want me to do it. Whenever you want me to do it. Now lately he's been in, increasing it. But I'm cool. Whatever, however he want to do it. That's what I'm going to do. Because it's not about me. Oh come on somebody. Y'all gonna catch it. Y'all gonna y'all better catch that, because whatever they spending time with is their God. And what and, and I keep telling y'all, just like y'all up on here, three hundred and something on y'all up on here right now. Everything that I have been pouring into you is going into your spirit. Don't you know that? So you gotta watch your table you eat at, because if they ain't spending time with God, who they spending time with? And then y'all wonder why y'all can't sleep at night, or you you having a botheration spirit, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Spirits is real, and I'm telling you, God says that it's increasing. Pray over everything, and I mean everything. Let me tell you something. I pray over clothes. 
But I first buy some. Yes, I do. I wash them and then I, I I put some all on my hands. And I don't do a lot. I'm not crazy. I'm, I just kind of like rub my hands and I touch them because I don't know who touched them before that, before I purchased it. Some of y'all just, and I don't know why I'm saying this. So so this is how real it is. Some of you, as soon as you buy something, you, you put it straight on. You're supposed to wash it. You can wash it on warm or cold or something. And I always, I, I take a little oil in my hand. I rub my hands together, not, not to stain the the, the 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 clothing. And I pray over every, I sure do think I'm crazy if you won't. I know what they're trying to do to me and you. All right, let us continue. Verse six, for I am not ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. You're supposed to be so anointed. You know when you're going home. My mother did. My mother called me a week before she died. And that, and let me tell you something. And this is so real. And that's why I got to, I don't want to get emotional. That's why I got to be, I got to go to heaven. I got to see her. She's the one that planted these seeds. Y'all, what I wasn't doing, I was, I was just doing all kinds of stuff. I ain't going to lie. And mama, she caught me. She said, she said, you was the hell raiser. She said, but God going to use you. And I didn't believe her. I probably was high when she was telling it to me. She said, but God going to use you, Deanna. I'm sorry. I am getting emotional. I'm sorry. Because it was true. And I didn't know. She spoke those words into my spirit. And even though I was getting high when she was saying it, <laughs> it's real. And she said, because I'm getting ready to go. And I see you when I get there. I see you when you get there. I thought mom was lying. I hung up the phone. I said, Mama tripping. A week later, mom was dead. Mama wrote on an obituary. Mama had her clothes laid out on the bed when we went there, where she wanted to be buried in. Don't tell me. And it's right here in scripture. He says, For my time, for I'm not ready to be offered, and my time of my departure is at hand. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Verse 7, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Verse 8, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, should give me at the day. And not only to me, but unto all them that love his appearing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I ain't mean to get kind of, you know, on y'all, but that's deep to me. My own mother spoke that I was going to be who you all, who you all listening to. So that's deep to me. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue. For Demas, I'm sorry, number nine, do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. Praise God. For Demas have forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departing to Thelosia, Christians to Galatia, this unto, la, la, I'm sorry, Damatia. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So, but I want to go into, I want to go into another part. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, I gotta go here. Hold on. Praise God, praise God. And that's why I hate that that light fell. Let me just see, because I don't like working on the phone. I like I like the Bible for real, y'all. I like the real Bible. I know everybody's doing electronics these days, but I like the real Bible. Praise God, praise God. There's one more scripture that I'm supposed to bring to y'all. Hold on. I have to. Hold on. Um, I have to take this light and see. Hold on, y'all. But I don't want. Any, I don't want to bump anything either. Hold on, just one moment. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know what? I'm gonna have to do. Oh. Enemy trying to put a little cloak, but that's all right. Just bear with me, y'all. Praise God, praise God. All right, here we go. Okay, I got it. All right, praise God, hallelujah. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Praise God. Okay, he says, this is Second Timothy chapter 3, and it's always the King James Version. I don't like those other versions. Do y'all know why? He says, this know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Hello, aren't we there? It says, verse two, for men should be lovers of their self, own selves, covetous, boastous, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Is that not true? Is that not true? Unthankful, unholy. Oh, that's the one. 
unholy. Three, excuse me, you guys, without natural affection. Y'all already know I ain't got to go there, right? Praise God, praise God. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, dispersers of those that are despisers of those that are good. So they get mad. It's, it's like a Cain and Abel spirit again. Y'all remember when um, Cain killed Abel? This the same thing we're going through right now. They don't even want you to be holy. They don't even want you to preach the word. Ain't that something? All right. Verse four. Traitors, headly, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. And that's what Hollywood doing. Hollywood got everybody after. I mean, it, it just, it breaks my heart, the spirit of lawlessness and the spirit of what I'm seeing in this world today. This is crazy. Y'all know it's real. Verse five. Oh, this is real. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Let me tell y'all something. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When someone does not have the anointing of God, you're not supposed to listen to him. Period. End of story. Turn the channel. I don't care if it was me. I don't care. Turn the channel. Because what else? And, and no, notice, ooh, I just got a revelation. Do y'all know what channel? They say channel. They turn, they say everything a channel, right? Because it's channeling. Y'all, you, you understand what I'm saying? So if you're not, Adhering to the spirit of God and they're not overtaken by the spirit of God. It is called channeling So they're not even preaching and teaching that channeling and what does channeling come from demons? Come on somebody. Y'all know it's true, right? Praise God. Praise God. He says Verse six for this sort are they which creep into houses Notice they creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lust That is one of the biggest spirits that's going on right now y'all the spirit of lust Everybody want to look good. Be careful. Ask God to give you ask God to give you spiritual insight. Because everything look good in God. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all be surprised. Demons, they they dress well. They smell good. They got lots of money. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Where they got it from? Praise God. Praise God. Let us continue. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Verse eight. Now, as Janus and Jabers withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Notice what he said. Reprobate. You know what a reprobate mind is? God has given them over to their lust, to their foolishness, to their sin. So they can't even comprehend what they're doing. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Praise God. Praise God. Let us continue. It says, but they should proceed no further for their folly should be manifested unto all men. Didn't I just tell y'all God said that? Y'all, judgment is in the house of God. So you know what that means? That means anybody can get it, including me. Right now, everything is being exposed. So if you're doing anything, I pray that you stop. And if you don't know how to stop, you better ask God. I'm serious. I'm not playing. God, you see what I'm doing? Because let me tell you something. And it's very powerful what I'm getting ready to say. Who you are behind closed doors is who you are for real when no one's watching. When no one's watching, what do you do? When no one's watching, what do you think about? When no one's watching, because that's who you really are. And hold on. We all got some skeletons, so don't even get it. Nobody's trying to bash you and make you feel bad. But you're going to have to deal with that thing. Or that thing going to deal with you, said God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let us continue. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, and patience. Verse 11. Persecution afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconum and Lester. What persecution I endured, but out of all of them, the Lord delivered me. God will deliver you. God will keep you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and I, I'm a witness to that. I don't care what nobody say. Verse 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Let me say that one again. Yea, and all they that live will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Boy, I used to get on my nerve. I said, used to get on my nerve. People say, why is she always going through something? Blank stare, right? Let me read it again. Why? Yea, and all that live godly will in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That's why. Verse 13, but even men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. That's why you have to ask God for wisdom and discernment. Because right now, and I'm telling you right now, man, there's nothing but deception. It's, I see a big old thing, a big old cover. People just being deceived, even in the church. Because the Bible says that even, even the, the great will be deceived. Even the elect, I'm sorry, excuse me. Praise God. 
Verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of them which thou hast learned. Verse 15, and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee, remember I just said that about learning the word of God, and that from a child that has known the holy scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. People of God, let me tell you something. You got a problem? It's in here. You got some things you're going through? The answer's in here. I'm not kidding. Read this. This is my new Bible. You should see my old Bible. Oh, it's right here. It's my old Bible. Hold on. Let me show y'all. And I'm not trying to do it to brag. I'm trying to show y'all the difference. Look at that. Let me show y'all. It's, yeah, I, I ain't never parting from no, this can't go nowhere. That one I do Bible study and the new one. You understand what I'm saying? And again, that word will keep you. That word will strengthen you. That word will be your best friend. That word will keep you when you're lonely. That word will keep you when you feel like you're about to lose your mind. Come on, somebody, I'm talking to you. Alcohol ain't going to do it. Drugs ain't going to do it. Good sex ain't going to do it. All that stuff is temporary, said the Lord. And then at three, four o'clock in the morning, when you can't sleep, what you do? Who you call? How do you spell relief? Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 17, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I just thank God for what he's doing. God is good. It don't matter. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you one thing. I'm telling you, praise God. I feel the power of God. Let me tell y'all something. Demons are surrounding us. I'm telling you what God said. Demons are surrounding us, especially those that are of the remnant. But God said we're going we're gonna to win. He says victory is our. I told y'all what the word for next year is. From 20, um, 2021, from desolation to restoration. God says that the earth is going to be desolate, but his church is actually going to be revived. He says, but first there must be repentance. He said, first you got to repent. He said, first you got to repent. You got to repent. He says, and change from your wicked ways. That's all of us. He said, come closer, come closer, come closer. I love you. Yes, I'm going to chastise you if you do wrong, but I love you. Hallelujah. God is calling us closer than ever, ever before. Be thankful in this hour, God says. Be very thankful. Some of you, you, you won't, won't, won't. You just greedy, 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 greedy. And we're not talking about food just for everything. And then when you get it, you don't want it. Be thankful because some people ain't got this and that. Another thing I hear he said, be, be forgiven. Forgive your mother, your, your father, your sister. Some of them just no good. I'm going to say it like it is. I don't care what nobody say. They no good. Family members, friends, husband, wife. Some of them just no good. But yet, God says, wasn't you no good at one time? And I saved you. I could save them. Your position is not to put them down. Your position is to pray for them, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Because somebody prayed for you. You didn't just get that. You didn't just get saved, baby. Hallelujah. You didn't just get saved on your own. Hallelujah. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I'm going to start getting up on here more often. Um, definitely next Saturday, Gospel Life and Longevity. Next Saturday um, is the first Saturday of January, right? And um, definitely going to do communion. Excuse me, y'all. Definitely going to start another fast. Another 21-day fast. Might be 40 days. I don't know. Whatever God says. Because I'm telling you. I keep hearing God get, get, get in doubts with the Holy Spirit right now. You're going to need the Holy Spirit. Y'all let me tell y'all something. I'm seeing demonic activity increase online, in person, at stores. I don't even eat out no more. Let me tell y'all something. It's bad when you get sick of the food because, let me tell you what God said. Let me say what God said. I ain't going to put my stuff in it. You don't know who fixing your food. Warlock witches. And their hands all in, and you entering in your body. That's how really it is. I don't eat out no more. If I want something, I'll make it. I know how to cook. Hallelujah. Y'all better come. Y'all better start cooking at home. I'm telling you what God's saying. You don't know who. And, and that's why y'all don't notice more and more people doing stupid stuff to the food anyway. Well, let's just be real. It don't even taste like food. The food tastes weird. 
That's another reason I was glad to, to step down from cooking. I don't want to serve nothing to hurt nobody. I don't. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Spices is spices, you know, whatever. And if I do serve something, I'm going to try to get the best quality. Right? Praise God. So, all right, you guys. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. I felt the power of God. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me go ahead and pray out as well. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, for what you did through this life, God, what you're going to do in the lives of people, even my life, God. Father God, we repent of anything we may have said or done, knowingly or unknowingly, Father God. Father God, I pray that we put love, we put love back in the atmosphere and not hate, lawlessness, anger, rage, God. I sever that to the root of that thing. I'll gnaw every plot and plan of the enemy over everybody that's on this live and those that will listen, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus. It's the blood. It's the blood that still has power. It's the blood what they're afraid of because the blood, it'll never lose its power from generation to generation, from generation generation hallelujah oh god heal your people help your people god because we're all hurting everybody's hurting everybody got a situation everybody got something they're going through god god i pray for them god i come into agreement with them god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth god bring us back to you god bring us back to obedience god bring us back to loving each other god respecting each other especially in the household of faith god like never before I come against all anger, belittlement, ugliness in the church and outside the church, God. Oh, Father God, let them have a fire for you. Let them love you again to serve you, God, with a whole heart. Hallelujah. And to become holy again. I didn't say perfect, but holy, God, in the name of Jesus. All you want is our best, God. May we give you your best, our best in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so, God. I thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. Bless them, God. Heal them, God. Speak to them, God. Oh, anoint them, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so as a servant of the living God. I thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you own this live and you need something, I feel the power of God. I feel the spirit of God. And I ain't lying. You should feel it. Because it's here. You better get it. Because that's, that's when we are transformed, when the anointing. We're not that great. I'm just a servant. I need healing too. I need deliverance too. Come on, somebody. Every day, every hour. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. In Jesus Christ's name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Let me tell y'all something. We're going to be all right. These are perilous times coming, and they're here. But God say, hold on. And you keep telling me, forgive, forgive, tell y'all to forgive. So many of y'all have stuff against people. Please forgive. You'd be surprised the things I had to forgive just recently. And I was like, God, did you see what they did? He said, yes. But I need you to, and I forgave. I forgive them. I ain't got to fool with them. And love people. It's time It's time to spread love. It's time. It's like nobody trusts nobody. Everybody's scared. Let me tell you how real it is for me. And I'm going to get up off here. I, was, I, I used to pick up a lot of people. Yeah, men too. I wasn't scared. I just knew God had me, especially if they walking in the rain. Come on now. These days, ain't nobody want to pick up nobody, huh? Scared. They might be a killer. They might be this. They might be that, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit of fear right now over the body of Christ. We got to know that God got us. Hallelujah. That's what they came to do. They came to try to install fear, but God said, I'll put faith. Hallelujah. He said, I'll increase your faith. God increased their faith in the name of Jesus Christ and cancel fear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that's why the body of Christ is not, it's not really coming out. Don't be scared, God says. He says, I'm God. I'm God. He says, I'm God. Do you know who I am? We got to bring back the spirit of God so people can understand who God is. Not just in the Bible, but in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, God. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I love you guys. Um, I pray that you have a blessed night. Y'all know what time it is. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Have a blessed night, you guys.
ਜਿਸ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਰੂਹਾਂ ਰਿਸ਼ਤ 